What is up y'all, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to bring you 40 facts in the Warhammer 40k universe. And today I will be continuing the fan lore that you guys sent to us. If you guys have your own custom lore you want to send us, whether it be Space Marine Tau or anything like that, send it over to our Facebook page, or you can email it to one mind syndicate the number one at gmail.com. But anyway, that is exactly what the Green Painter has done. Excuse me, his name is the Green Wolf Painter. So, with that being said, this is his custom lore on his custom chapter called The Wolf Dragons. So let's dive into this lore. The Wolf Dragons were once considered our Dark Angel successor chapter by the Inquisition. Although some have theories of the Wolf Dragons' origins, no one knows for sure when, how, or by who they were founded. They were once the regarded highly by those who knew them until late, their darkest secrets being revealed. The wolf dragons were no successors of the dark angels, but in fact they had been found guilty of mixing the gene seed of salamanders and space wolves in their early years. Despite being revered by some, the high lords of Terra decided to try and punish the wolf dragon chapter by killing them all or by other unknown means. Despite what the rest of the Imperium may have thought, the Wolf Dragons still remain loyal and are possibly one of the most loyalist chapters out there. They have always followed the laws of the Emperor of Man, and they have never been corrupted by chaos. The Wolf Dragons possess both abilities of these Primarchs that they have the Gene Seed of. For example, they have Vulcan's great strength and Russ's prowess in battle. So when they found out what was coming, they set out, apparently running forth. It turned out to be a retreating from an orc wall that had allied themselves with chaos forces known as the Thousand Red Plague. Both forces ended up stranded in a long forgotten imperial world that the marines has dubbed Saker. Now Saker is a world locked into halves. The wolf dragons occupy the deserts, and the forest half is occupied by the plague. The wolf dragons make use of old pre-heresy equipment, and they have managed to salvage for old manifactoriums as well as the equipment brought with them. These wolf dragons are often seen clad in dark and green power armor, with shoulders outlined in red. They are led by the wolf lord Falcon Wolf, who wields an axe that is similar to Wormclaw, wielded by Krom of the Space Wolves, and he also carries a grav or bolt pistol depending on which prey they are hunting. Despite the lack of psychers, the wolf dragons are deadly on the battlefield. To them, every round is precious and must not be wasted, resulting in high accuracy. Also, they are quite adept in the arts of close combat. They do prefer to tear their enemies apart with blades and axes and to smush them under their crushing thunder hammers. But perhaps their most potent weapon is the flamer. To them, there is not much more satisfaction that can be gained by seeing their enemies burn to the ground by the mass. However, if they don't get the chance to slice, crush, or burn their foes, the wolf dragons try to use what's left of their vehicle fleet and proceed to blow them apart rather than to shred. The lesser dragon in Furnace once said, We are the ones who will never be broken. With our final breath, we'll fight to the death. As humankind shall be our bonds, we shall tear chaos apart when they dare cross the path of us and the Emperor. But once you hear the roar of the wolf dragon's boulders and chainswords, it's already too late. You will see old and new standing side by side, Primaris fighting alongside Astartes in ancient Mark III armor. The sound of death will pummel your ears as you see dark green tanks emerging from the forest the latest versions of Predators next to the most ancient Vindicator patterns. People may wonder how the Wolf Dragons have managed to get their hands on ancient technology, and the answer lies in the great work of the few Wolf Dragon Iron Priests, led by Iron Heart. The Wolf Dragons show many similarities with the Space Wolves and Salamanders, most notably their love for flames and wolves. They also have inherited their units and beliefs, the Wolf Dragons have many Space Wolf units, such as the Grey Hunters, the Wolf Guard, and the Blood Claws, but also have many other Primaris units, as well as units from other chapters. On the other hand, they have their own units, such as the ODSTs, the Orc Destroying Shock Troopers, who first jump into Hell, bringing the ominous sense of pain and death to those who oppose the Emperor, 
not caring for their own lives, but for their eradication of darkness. But perhaps one of the most notable units in the Wolf Dragon's arsenal is the mighty Dragon Guardians. They are the hand-picked elites chosen by Falcon Wolf himself to be his personal bodyguard. The Dragon Guardians consist of the best fighters in the Legion. The Iron Heart, Lupin Dyer, the Ancient Flame, Captain Thorbjorn, and the Fire Wolf, to name a few. And now that we know a little bit as to who the Wolf Dragons are, let's learn about one of their greatest battles, the Great Battle of New Reach 2. The most recent major battle that the Wolf Dragon started was when Captain Thorbjorn and his recon party were surveying the rim of the forest, and they located an eminence force of the Thousand Red Plague heretics, which were advancing in the distance. Thorbjorn's bikes had returned to Falcon Wolf just in time to assemble the mighty wolf dragons nearby. However, it was nearly too late. Suddenly, hordes of cultists poured through the trees. The wolf dragon aggressors mowed them down with floods of flame, while grey hunters picked off the survivors. Falcon Wolf decided to retreat towards the desert, where the tanks, ranged, and heavy weapons moved out, while the rest flanked the edge of the forest. Soon after, a horrific scream filled the air as Chaos Space Marines poured out from the trees, followed by demons and demonic engines. A massive axe sliced through the trees as if they were better, revealing a massive Corn Lord of Skulls demon engine. The chaotic forces did not realize that they had charged straight into the Wolf Dragon's trap. Plasma, Bolter, and heavy weapons fired and rained from all sides as the Thousand's Red Plague shot randomly at the charging Wolf Dragons but failing to land many kills. Once they got to the enemy's front line, flamers engulfed the heretics, then the wolf dragons proceeded to hack them up with their ferocious blades. Meanwhile, Falcon Wolf and the first company snuck behind the enemy back line and tore them apart from the inside out. Lord Falcon Wolf single-handedly took down a Forge Fiend, a Chaos Terminator squad, and several heretic tactical squads before he got to the leader, a Chaos Sorcerer in Terminator armor. The duel that followed was Stuff of Legend. Falcon Wolf used his speed as he darted across his much larger foe, and then he cut the Chaos Lord's sword clean in two. He then swerved on the spot, beheading the leader. Not much was left of the Thousand Plagues Red's forces, for the Lord of Skulls was still fighting, and so Falcon Wolf directed all of their firepower at this demon engine. Despite its eminent strength, it could not withstand a merciless bombardment of fire from all sides. It fell to the might of the wolf dragons and blew up, the explosion killing the majority of the remaining Thousand Red Plague forces. Feel the flames of retribution, scum. The End And with that guys, that brings us to the end of yet another 40 Facts video. This one was specifically special because it was a video of a custom chapter by the Wolf Dragons. Well, called the Wolf Dragons, and it was by Instagram user Green Wolf Painter. If you want to check him out, go on Instagram, and his name is Green underscore Wolf underscore Painter. There, you can see more of his models, check him out and whatnot, and yeah. Again, guys, if you guys want to send me your own lore, send it to our Facebook page or send it to our email, onemindsyndicate1 at gmail.com. Easy as that. I do like it if you guys have your own pictures, uh, if you guys have pictures of your own army, etc., so we can make it more thematic and whatnot. And yeah, we'll go from there. But as always, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Please stay tuned because we have more epic videos that we post each and every day. You can also head on to our Facebook page where we post every day some nerdy stuff, not just 40k related. As well as we have a Patreon page where a simple dollar gets you some more epic videos such as creepy pastas and some Patreon specific greater walls. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. As always, I'm the Sound Alchemist and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh, <laughs>